which we have handled, which we have seen with our eyes, round again. This is the word of truth. We have not followed cunningly devised fables. We were eyewitnesses of this thing. We walk in Bible, but we have seen the Lord. Our eyes have seen the Lord. I don't know about you. When you have become a supernatural Christian, God gets into you and starts walking himself. He no longer leads. He is now Ayakara. 100 percent true. I saw German written on your forehead like German. 15 October. Yes. 1981. Yes, do it. Yes, so you know me and you know everything. <laughs> if I be a prophet of God, miracle money now. Declared miracle money. There's 55,000 in his bank account. How much is this? But supernatural weight loss. Somebody who is sick can just be healed like that. Yes. This is the good news we preach. A good news world with Hubert Angel, provoking a reaction. And always worth hearing. Blessed be his holy name both now and forever. I'm here because we have some prayer needs. It's called Prayer Line Sunday. And something big has to happen to that prayer request. I'm here to prove that the Lord I serve will give you that answer to your prayer. Are you here? How many of needs that you have? Even those around the world? You have your needs around the world. You have your needs and those who are here under the influence of my voice. When you get that need met, are you still going to honor the Lord? This is one question we never ask and we never answer. When you get your prayer requests answered, are you still going to honor the Lord? If that is the case, then we can start this service. There is a power that can meet all your prayer requests. Simultaneously, every one of you. So many people ask, well, how is God going to hear me? We are in a church like this. And all of us are praying, how is God hearing all of us? Imagine on Sunday how many churches are praying. How many Christians pray every hour. Do you realize that one in four atheists pray? The ones that don't even believe in God, one in four, they pray just in case. Today, by fire and by power, your prayer will be answered. But I want you to start on this wise. That the Bible tells us of Saul and his servant. And they were looking for lost donkeys. And as they were looking for lost donkeys, the servant said these words. We have a prophet in this Harare, sorry, in, in this town. <laughs> said we have a prophet in this town. <laughs> ah! And he says he's an honorable man. And all that he says comes. Even this day we are in right now. Is a result of what we said. After we finish speaking, relax. Yeah. It's the boldness of it. 
Bazuza vara karuto elishka anpara. Are you getting this? So now I want you to understand something here. The servant said something important. So there is a prophet in this town. We should go and ask him. When they went to the prophet, what did the prophet say? He said, I am he. But I want you to understand something. The man was supposed to be king by divine providence. It was written in ancient times in the heavenlies that this man was supposed to be king or captain of Israel, the first one. But it could not happen until he lost the donkeys. Some of you, you're supposed to be managers, directors, CEOs, doctors, governors, mayors. But it cannot happen until a problem locates you. So I'm here to announce by divine mantle that every prayer request you have now, even those around the world, watching around the world, all the prayer requests you have now, it's only a way to find a prophet. It is the problem you possess that made you come here. So every catastrophe that has happened to you was an address to me. I speak now we have met. Now we have met. It's time for enthronement. I said it's time for enthronement. But I want you to understand, turn to your neighbor, say neighbor. Prayer is not for information. It is for your formation. In prayer, we are not giving God information. We are being formed, not informed. So most of you think when we are praying, when I'm praying, I'm informing God. God already knows your prayer request. He is not going to be informed when you pray. It is you who is going to be formed when you pray. Why is it so? Because prayer is a protocol in the spirit. It is a guard, a security guard in the spirit. It is a close second camera in the spirit. It goes into the future. Remove every obstacle before you get there. And then when you walk into the future, it has already fixed the problems. So it is possible for you to send prayer into your future. I speak now by authority of the spirit. Your prayer request is already seeing its answer. Right now, there is a power. Are you hearing this? I was speaking to your mother, my dear wife, baby angel, and and we were dealing with this issue. And there was a question. When we are in heaven, how our capacity is going to be measured anywhere? That's a story. And I said it is measured by light. I said, how are we, what language will we be speaking? And I said it is called the light language. No, no, you didn't hear me. The content of light in you, the entrance of thy words, giveth light. In other words, the vocabulary is not words, it's light. Oh, we speak by emitting light. No, 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 no. See, see, I, let me try here. See, some of the revelation that God tells me to tell you, they are too heavy that sometimes I just leave it. Now, how are we speaking when we are in the realm of the spirit? What do we speak? You think we're going to speak in your language? No, sir. The vocabulary is in light form. The entrance of thy word gives light. Words are measured by light. So the amount of light you have is the amount of vocabulary you can speak in the spirit in light. 
We will just be speaking like this. You see me, I see you. By the amount of light in you, we are able to communicate using light. I don't even need to open my mouth. Oh, I wish I could talk to you now. That means if you have greater light, you speak at a certain light vocabulary. Concentrated light vocabulary. That is, we speak, you can tell the ones who are coming, these ones are now learned. Just by the light that they are exuding. Intelligence in the spirit is measured by light. And light is only pushed into your system by what? By the entrance of thy word. It is light that controls everything. That's why the Bible says, and God said, let there be light. Why? Because light controls every matter. I speak to somebody under the influence of my voice. Your light is increasing. I said your light is increasing. Let your amen thunder like fire. Even if you get into science, you realize the power of light. Even cancer is banned by a concentrated form of light called laser. I was with prophetess in South Africa. I was sitting with her right there in Randbeck and we were listening and the, the preacher was trying to invite me to the stage. A lady just patted her on the back like this, on the shoulder and said, I've got cancer and I'm happy I'm sitting behind you here. So she turned to me and took a, just that white cloth and I gave her she passed it in a back pass form to the lady. And the lady said, I'm supposed to do chemotherapy. She took just a handkerchief. Just this. It doesn't think. It doesn't feel. It doesn't. But there was light emitting. And the light rubbed against this thing. The following service, she, he, she was in there. As we left the service, she ran and said, I'm that lady. I was supposed to start chemotherapy. They canceled it. I don't have cancer anymore. Now, listen to me. What has taken place? No, sir. Light. This one got a rub off of that light. I speak to somebody under the influence of my voice. As I speak these words now, you think you are hearing words. You are hearing light. That's why I hate people when they start singing this song. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Do you know the word light is the word fortizo? It means stadium lights. Blinding light. We have no little light. You have no little light. You have no little light. You have a greater light. A flood light. Hear me well. My grandfather in the spirit, the patriarch of my spiritual father's ministry, Archbishop Ida Hossa, was ministering in America, listen, in America, he was ministering in America. He got to his hotel room. And he would just talk about the light of God. The word of God gives me light, light, light. And as he was preaching about it, telling people how the light can blind and kill. And he ministered, and he ministered one subject where he said, how I killed people in my town. Listen to me. He got into a hotel and the papers had arranged a secret to put a woman in the wardrobe in his hotel room. And the reporters were outside the door with keys so that the moment he enters, the woman would jump on the bed in lingerie, jump on him on the bed and then they come in and take photos. He went in there and he said, fire. He heard screams, screams from the wardrobe, screams. 
He said, what is happening here? He called again, fire! Listen, she came out. The clothes she was wearing, the lingerie, was burning. Listen to me. Until they fell down and the skin started to burn, to be consumed by an invisible fire. Seven days later, the woman died. Fire! That's all. When you hear the fire of God, you are hearing fire. You should hear light. Ah, I wish I could talk to you now. Hey, what is in us? What is in these people? There is a certain level of diplomatic immunity. A heavenly security that is over them. That they can say anything at any given time and it happens. But the problem you think is only given to them. You have the capacity to do the same. Oh my God, I wish I could talk to you. I said you have the capacity to do the same. Mm. Are you flowing? The secret of Christianity is in your mouth. This mouth is not for eating. As a matter of fact, Greek rendering for this mouth is called stoma. The word stoma means a knife you use to cut down pieces. The problem is when you are praying for the request you have brought to me now. As you pray, you just stand there and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, this, 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 my things. Your mind should be thinking I'm using a knife. No, 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 no. In the name of Jesus, I don't like poverty. That's okay. But if your mind goes to a deeper sense, I don't like poverty. I, I, I. Where is your mind when you are praying? Begin to visualize stepping something. Stepping something. Caving something into. I wish I could talk to somebody under the influence of my voice. Stoma. Sit down. Some of you say, you prophesy to me. It has not happened yet. Another prophet said this. It has not happened yet. Prophecy does not bring you a miracle. <laughs> the Bible says use these prophecies as weapons. Ice. War weapons. Artillery. If I say you are going to be rich and you come out there and you see that there is a sickness in your bones that is about to kill you, Rise up from that bed and say, hey, I'm not rich yet. I can't die now. I'm not rich yet. I cannot die now. You don't know where Hachidone came from. It won't fall. It will never go down. I was preaching and God said, you will not go down. I said, hey. I was minding my own business. And God said, I, you will not go down. I said, I never thought it. He said, you will not go down. A few weeks later, they were fighting me, helter skelter, back and forth, front, back everywhere. But there was a word I used as a weapon. I will never go down. You will never go down. As a matter of fact, if you have that as a prayer request, cancel it, it's answered. You will not go down. You will not go down. There is a reason I left a suit today. Uh, there is a reason. <laughs> See now. What were you thinking prophecy was? There were not ways to make you get a miracle. No, we are supplying you with artillery. You are holding weapons like this. And then the enemy said, you're going to die. You say, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. With this bazooka. With this AK-47. With this intercontinental ballistic missile. No! I'm too global to be local. So if they say you are local, tell them or what? I'm too global. You will not go anywhere. Uh, I'm not even going to work there. Uh-uh. I'm just going to visit and shop there. 
I don't work there, I shop there. I know some of you are looking for visas to go to another country, to go and work there. I have news for you. You will go to shop there. I wish you could understand that this is a weapon I'm giving you. I'm giving you artillery. Power packed artillery. Intercontinental ballistic missiles. <laughs> this is why sometimes when people hear me pray, you know, you know, you know, prayer is a certain language. I can't go to prophets and go like, I love you. She'll be like, hey, what's, what's happening? <laughs> but how is that working like this? You know, you can't talk to your wife like that. I love you now, very fast. <laughs> there is a certain, a certain uh, pizzazz. Mm. A certain level of romantic type of thing you can use. But the reality is when you are being romantic, you have a certain way of talk. Huh. I love you now. Ah. You, you, you use tongues. <laughs> you use lyrics that will confuse the person like, hey, hey. What I've been told today. Mm. Your personality is, is as fundamental as an oasis. Now, even in the realm of the spirit, create language. Language that can lure the star. Yeah. So there is a time where I'm speaking with the Holy Spirit. You know, using the words of the Holy Spirit, talking to God. And I just go, Let us see, subtly hostile. These are love words. Then when enemies strike, inter sosorote kaskalo. If you get into that prayer section, you hear the weapons that are now being used. This is no longer applying lipstick in the spirit. There are weapons. You can use a bomb in the spirit. I'm here to use something. Now, I'm just here to announce I've already used the intercontinental ballistic missile for you. I used them. I'm just here to to fulfill you're not hearing me. I said I'm just here to fulfill all righteousness as the Lord said. I, I, I know some of you think I came here to try and convince God to answer your prayer. No. We just came here to meet so that we fulfill all righteousness. Your prayer bowed, that prayer request bowed to me in prayer. It's already finished. John, John said, Sir, I cannot baptize you. Jesus said, It's not vocalized in the scriptures. But Jesus would have said, I know what you're talking about. Then he said something vocalized and written in the scriptures. We are just here to fulfill scripture. In other words, this is just a formality. This service is a formality. This service is a formality. In that street of yours, you will be the one married. No, they didn't get it. They didn't get it. They didn't get it. In that street of yours, you will be the one to have a business. It's a formality. I said it's a formality. Yeah. Hey. Sit down, sit down. How do we know this is a formality? It's because the Lord has already spoken to us concerning this. Ash. You know, after this service, they will reintroduce you. Do, do you know? Do you know Jesus was so powerful 
that he had an introduction in the scriptures. No, no, you don't understand. Do you know what they said? They said the land of Zebulon, the land of Naphtali, by the way of the seaside, beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people that sit in darkness saw a great light. Ah! He listened. There was no name of Jesus. People knew it is Jesus they are talking about. Ha, ha, ya, 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 ya. Hey! Zimbabwe of Zimbabwe. Mm, by the way of Harare. Ay, 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 ay. By Southern Africa. Mm. If they have never asked where you come from, you are powerless. Do you know when I got to the city's post the first time coming back here to Zimbabwe? And I mentioned these words. Kunyanya, kunyanya, kushika, kunyanya, 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 ne kunyanya, because manyanyiswa. When I say those words, people are like, he speaks Shona? They will get confused. They, they will get confused. I don't care you are in the balcony. They will get confused. You are going to change everybody. They are going to want to ask, who are you? Some of you don't realize the service has already started. <laughs> See, when light comes on you, even this thing that we talk about is the devil. The Bible says, the same devil, I will reach out into you and cause the fire that is within you to consume you. Whew. Listen, listen. Demons, you can cast them out. Princes, you wrestle with them. Most of you don't understand why the demons in your family are not living. Because they are no longer demons. They are princes of the demonic world. <sighs> Said the prince of the world is coming, but he has no hold of me. In other words, we were wrestling, but he has not touched me yet. None of my muscles are crippled. He's not touching nothing. So there are demonic entities that have graduated into princes that they are holding marriages of your own family. That when it comes to money, they held the money because everyone submits to them. Mm, I knew you were not hearing me at all. Hmm. Those ones don't submit because you called them out. Those ones who check your character say there is no hold on me. Demons, you can just tell them in the name of Jesus, out, and they submit. Princes, you say in the name of Jesus, they say, Who are you? How have you graduated to casting me out? <laughs> Those ones analyze your character, they want to know. Well, have you graduated from the school of spiritual hard knocks? I dealt with them before I came here. Your case has already been spoken for. I said your case has already been spoken for. When light is present, darkness flees. Bishop Oyedepo was holding some of these mantles. He just created. It's a mantle. It has no power. It doesn't think. It doesn't feel. It doesn't see. It doesn't test. Can't do nothing. Can't even think for itself. It has no feelings. I was holding something like this. He prayed for a bunch of them. And one man put it on the, around the neck like this. And his two friends began to laugh at him. Like, you, you are crazy. You believe that man? They were all flying from Nigeria. And went to another country and then started flying to go back to their country. Using one of these big airplanes, it broke in half. One person survived. The only one with a mantle. Right now, as I say this, you think I'm selling mantles. There are no mantles there. It wasn't the mantle. 
It was the light. He got a rub off of the light. Ah. <laughs> are you hearing this or you've gone home? Are you, are you flowing? Do you realize that the crypto system you are using now, even the binary system as you think of them, started with the Yorubas. It's a Nigerian. Way back, a man saw a Nigerian tribe writing some things on the, like the H's and the stuff, they look like H. And he said, oh, can you teach me these things? They said, we can't teach you. They are secrets. They said, unless you stay with us, we initiate you, then we can teach you these codes. Then left that, told another man, told another white man, told another white man, until you got to a binary stage. Now we have computers. You don't know the way they came from. It was a revelation they needed from Nigeria. I know you're not getting me. If I tell you now, you will have a problem. Because your mind is like, no, it can't be Nigeria. <laughs> That country has produced crazy people. Men of God, billionaires, multi-millionaires, even in Christianity, it's beyond. Okay, let's leave Nigeria alone. Let's go to America. I think there is one guy that is well known called Bishop T.D. Jakes from Nigeria. You see, see, it's taking time for you to get there. Do you understand the greatest prophet on earth now? Came from Zimbabwe. Anyway, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Sit down. That country, Nigeria, is created generous. What is it that is in them? There was Light that was passed on to generations. And they managed to keep that light. One general after the other. And in every generation, they produce several at once. Why? Light. You can be the one. You. You can be the one. There it is. Western scientists, mathematics, have admitted the binary system existed in African divination system, which is in Yoruba. There it is. For you to have that language of computers, it's the Yorubas in Nigeria. This is what is called brain drain. They took it from us. Now they are telling us that there is no revival. Revival is coming. Never. It's not coming. The problem with you black people is this. When you hear revival is coming, you believe because you want to see a white man doing miracles. All the revivals you have heard of that have been written by these white folk, I don't have a problem with white people. Listen to me. You, you get my point? But don't, don't look down on my skin. Listen to me. Listen. I didn't, I didn't make myself black. I did not. I just got lucky. Are you? How many times have we seen miracles in this ministry? Crazy ones. We have people among you raised from the dead. We have people among you who were blind. People who couldn't have children. Several miracles. Remember the miracles from the other when we were at the at the Eastern Hall, where people were giving birth in church. And we had ambulances outside. Every Sunday, we had ambulances outside and midwives, so that when I pray for somebody like this, a child comes out. Now, if it happens in one white church, they will say a revival has started. 
And do you know how stupid we are? We believe it. Revival has been, has been in Nigeria for a long time. It might not have been started by your pastor, but it's in Nigeria. It's in Africa. It's in Zimbabwe. It's in South Africa. It's in Botswana. Ha. It's everywhere. It's in Tanzania. Mozambique. All these countries. Revivals have been taking place, but because they didn't happen in the right locations, they are considered to be nothing until a white man says, now it's revival. Everyone is like, yay, revival. <laughs> if we bring them what we are doing, just from the two Sundays we have had so far, ah, oh. let's turn to your neighbor and say, if a lion does not have a storyteller, the story of the hunt will belong to the hunter. Okay, let me explain because this might have gone over your head. If the lion does not hire a person who writes what happened during a hunt, since he doesn't have anyone re recording, the hunters will say, we killed 29 lions. But the lions know we killed 200 hunters. But because they don't have anywhere to write, you would think the lions are being killed. No, there are so many hunters being killed. Make sure you have your own prostitute at the well. Make sure. Jesus went and waited for a prostitute at the well. What happened with that prostitute at the well? Listen, the Bible says he is the one who went to wait. He, he went to wait for the prostitute. He knew he was targeting a prostitute. Would it not surprise you that all the grandmothers, almost all the grandmothers of Jesus Christ were all prostitutes? I am in the wrong direction. I, wa I wanted to teach you something. They were all prostitutes. Then God has got the audacity to tell us that prostitutes will get to heaven before us. It's in your Bible. No wonder why he's related to the prostitutes. I'm in a very religious circle here. I need to go to spiritual people. Do you know why? He realized one important thing. There is something about a prostitute that is not in the Christian today. prostitute understands that in every time there is no, no business in one corner, a prostitute doesn't stay there. He will find another location. Hear this. Whether of them twine did the will of the his father. They said unto him, the first Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that publicans and harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. <laughs> you were thinking. Thank you, sir. You were thinking it's prayer warriors who will get there. This one said prostitutes will get there before you. The ones you see on the street are going before you. Do you even understand the reason why it is so? If a prostitute is in that corner and she sees that money is scarce in that corner, the customers are not going there. She will go to another corner. I was born in this church. I will never change. Hey, did you get the miracle then? No. Change! We all are. Change where you go. Shift. If it doesn't give you a miracle, find another location.
We are ready, we are ready, we are ready, we are ready. And hear this. Hear this, precious, understand one thing. Whatever they are wearing has to uncover their product that they are selling. It is only Christians who try to cover the Jesus that they are selling. Your Bible is so small, you put it in the press. Once you leave this place, you go. Some of you, because of this electronic mode of Bibles, you no longer show you are a Christian now. Instead of carrying the biggest Bible you can carry, bigger than the wallet you carry, bigger than the purse you are holding, show them you are Christians. You say, if you go into the streets where prostitutes are, you never doubt. You never doubt that they are not prostitutes. You never, you never go like, is that a prostitute or just a lady there? You know. But you, you hide your Christianity. This is the reason light doesn't come to you. If it's raining, the prostitute will not wear that raincoat you think of. It will cover the product she's selling or he's selling. You. Come rain, come thunder. A prostitute will be on the streets looking for that money. You, let it be cold one day. You will not come to church. Prostitutes are everywhere. They know. So Jesus looked at the character of a prostitute. And said, this man, here, this one here, is the character we need in the kingdom. Come rain, come thunder, they do it. Hear this. Jesus began to ask the woman, how many husbands have you had? Oh, is Jesus asking yet he is God, he knows everything. Why is Jesus asking when he knows everything? Very simple. Because he knows he's talking to a prostitute. The prostitute said, you are surely telling us the truth. Wait a minute. If I come here and ask your name, then I say your name is this. After asking, do you call that prophet? Jesus asked the question. The woman answered, I have no husband. Jesus said unto you, go call your husband. Huh? And come here. Now, if I do that, you say he's a false prophet. He didn't even know that the lady had no husband. Go call your husband. He said, um, Jesus said, go call your husband. What happened? The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Hey. So Jesus was wrong. God who created this woman. And the woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said unto her, Ah, you said it. You said the truth. Imagine me coming here and say, Yeah, go call your husband. You say, no, I don't have a husband. Say, that's the truth. Mm -hmm. Can I go deeper? This is the truth you said. Do you call that prophecy? <laughs> now he is not thy husband. Mm. For thou hast had five husbands. This is the only part. After being directed by a woman, said, ah, five husbands. And he whom now that is not your husband. And in that said, thou truly. Let's go. The woman said unto him, say, I perceive that you are out. Thou art. Said, I perceive. I have a strange feeling. I perceive somebody here with a money prayer request is getting answered now. Let me hear three strong amens. Let your amen thunder like fire over there. Our father was worshiping this mountain, and he said that in this mountain, it's a place. Jesus said, And woman, believe me, and thou cometh when he shall neither worship in this mountain nor in Jerusalem. Worship the Father. Let's go. You worship ye, no, not what. We know what we worship. For salvation is of the Jews. God is a spirit, and they that worship him should worship him in what? In spirit and in truth. Mm, let's go. The woman said unto him, I know that the Messiah cometh. Hush. Imagine speaking. 
to the biggest prophet on earth and not knowing it. Imagine sitting in the church that is being led by the biggest prophet on earth and still not know it. Imagine your feet dipped in water and still being thirsty. And which calleth, when he is come, he will tell us all things. Hi. Mm. Jesus said unto her, I speak unto thee, am he. Do you know how many times Jesus admitted that he was? <laughs> Very few times. Are you the king of the Jews? You said it. This one said, I'm the real McCoy. What was in, what was in Elijah? That after being told there are 7,000 prophets that I have saved, that have not bowed to the name of the devil. When he was asked, mm, mm, mm. the prophet, he said, there is no way any water would come unless at my word. How was he so definite that 7,000 prophets could not unlock where he had locked? Now they didn't get it. What kind of boldness had possessed him? There are 7,000. God himself said there are 7,000 when he thought he was alone. But he said, no Jew, no rain, unless at my word. No poverty. Ah. No embarrassment. No disappointment. Unless I speak it. That means no prophet can come to you and oppose what I just said now. Ah. I said no prophet can come to you and tell you something contrary and you believe it. No way. I'm the only one who can unlock where I lock. And lock where I unlocked. Your life is now open. Your life is now open. Archbishop Idahosa was going, moving in Nigeria. And as he was driving, they said, wait, say, there is an electrical wire. You know those electrical cables? It, the poles fell and struck six people dead. They said, where are they? He said, they are there. We covered them. He went there, six of them. He went and did like this. Wake up. We're stomping on the ground. They all came to life. Is it the ground? Ah. Sir, it's light. Sir, ma'am, it's light. There is a kind of boldness you possess by words of God. Imagine. Imagine being possessed by so much light. You don't fear nothing. There's no fear. One of my sons ran, rushed to me and said, Dad, they're saying this, they're saying this about you. And he was shaking. What do we do? I said, we do what for what? You are afraid of persecution online. <laughs> there were people who were being killed, lost their lives by persecution. You are, you, ah. so there's a newspaper that is saying this. Newspaper. Wait for one day. In fact, half a day, it will be tissue paper. The same one. <laughs> ha. Just a newspaper. Some have killed themselves based on newspaper. Killed. Gone. Just someone who said something. Some even leave churches just like, you see what, what happened? Uh, hmm. That man of God is not true. Hey, you have been there for seven years. Received miracles. You even stood there and gave a testimony. Now one person just writes something. I'm leaving the church now. A man can lie two minutes. And you leave a church you were attending for seven years. Two minutes. When I started this ministry, 
They said, we had about three kids at that time. They said, my wife was barren. I decided to bless my wife with a car. I think it was a Lamborghini or some other thing. I, I don't know what it was. They said, he's buying it to console her because she's barren. People were even sending, they said, oh, we are praying for them. Oh my God. <laughs> I've realized one thing. Anyone who brings you what other people are saying about you is part of the gang. Especially in church, if you hear someone saying, Papa, there is something, that one is being paid, looking for commission. If you're a young minister, listen carefully. A minister, a young minister, an assistant, pastor, a secretary who comes to you and tells you they are saying things this about you has already been paid or promised to be paid. What am I going to do? Go on the internet and rub what they said. That means if you are telling you failed to stop it. So what are we going to do here? Follow the money when you see that nonsense. Listen to me. Life is all about elimination of data. Demonic data. Replacing it with holy data, spiritual data. The amount of light in you can be measured by how much darkness you have removed around you. This is why I keep telling people, be careful who is your friend. Be careful. Some people are there just to monitor you. Monitoring spirits. They are monitoring spirits now as I talk to you. They are monitoring spirits. <laughs> what did I say? They are what? Monitoring spirits. What causes men to be able to know what to say at what time? Given the opportunity to stand up for your family, will you stand up? Will you be the one that they wait and say, let him pray. This one, if he prays, if she prays, our problems are over. You see what your trouble is? You are not yet convinced. You have no confidence. Why is it that we have the ability to move around here, tell cancer stop, yet we are on video? That person may die. What are they going to say? We have the ability to do so because there is a word that backs us. A light that backs us. It is not a promise that came from something. From light. For teaser. Stadium lights. Don't spend your life on nothing. On nonsense. If it is marriage, do it because of ministry. No, they, they don't get it. What do you do? Do it because of what? Ministry. If you just do it because you love that lady, you will divorce, I assure you. Love is not a feeling. It is a decision you make. Ask any married men here why they are staying in their marriage. Very simple. They made a decision to stay. Do you realize scientifically women get fed up more than men? So if you're sitting next to your wife right now, she got fed up way back. <laughs> I assure you of this. First month, she was excited. Second month, she realized I made a mistake. But now she can't leave now. She has to stay there. Oh, yeah. All women are laughing. They know exactly what I'm talking about. They're like, please, I love my husband. That's now a confession now that's being done now. <laughs> Their prayer is just, God, make me have peace, at least peace. That's why every woman has got this statement. I'm staying here for my kids. <laughs> just for my kids. Then after the kids have gone to school, for my grandchildren when they come back. <laughs> Listen to me. Everything 
is a decision. Live a designed life. Life by design. Sit down there and say, I'm not going to do nothing unless it is God in it. Unless it exalts God's name. Unless it is for my personal ministry for God. And my daughters, I want to tell you right now as we deal with this case. Don't just get married for the sake of, I need a wedding. Because after the wedding, there is life. Have you ever heard of something called postnatal depression? Where people were just like, they are expecting this child to come. Then the child is there now. Now you start telling your relatives, come and see the baby, come and see the baby. And then you prevent other two or three enemies of yours to come and see the baby. After all the relatives have seen the baby, you get into depression because nobody is seeing the baby anymore. They are now celebrating Sarah's once, new one. Your little demon, they have left him. Live a life of design. After I pray for this prayer request, your life will move to another level. But if you think our ministry is all about providing a miracle for you, you are crazy. We are creating human beings, champions, generals. Ah, we are creating multi-millionaires. Trust me, it will be a few weeks from now. This whole place here will not, be, will not be enough. And testimonies and after testimony, testimony after testimony. What do you think we are doing here? Joking? No. No, sir. I'm interested in changing your life. And I can see people here. You think, I don't know. I don't know when my life is going to be all right. Trust me. I, I'm, I'm targeting you. The one who thinks this will not happen, you, you are the one. Huh. I see some people who see people giving a testimony here. I'm now like this now. My money is now here. I'm now like this. And you know what people think? They just think, ha. Ah. You know, I think those ones are the best ones. Hey, sir, ma'am, the same people with testimonies were nothing before. No, they were nothing. But now, I said, but God, but God, but God, sit down. Sevarus of Oratakaka, Kerudolush Kegaratos. Your prayer request will answer to my prayer. It will bow in the name of Jesus. I remember seeing the Lord Jesus Christ. And he told me, go make my people rich. It was a commission, a mandate. I received it. I was taught to do it. So that's why I don't, I don't, I don't care who says, oh, they are all about money. We are not all about money. You, you don't understand our ministry. We are a teaching ministry. And it's very deep when we start. You see, I'm carrying this branch along until it gets to a point where I say, now I can go deeper on the teachings I need to get to. A man came to me and said, I don't have any money. I just need to get money. They were so shocked because I took it from one person who is at Christ's embassy. This is just a revelation that this man of God had called Pastor Beard and Lawal. A white man came to him and said, Sir, I've been giving 5000 for too long. 5000 every year. $5,000, 5000 to the church. I'm tired. I want to get to 10000 What do I do? He was expecting Pastor Beard and to tell him, You take your 2000 grow it like this, grow it like this. He said, Sir, Go and give 10. Huh? How? So he just go and do it. He left. He managed to do it. The person who was 32 years, lame in the legs, do you know what he couldn't do? Rise up and walk. When Jesus arrived, he said, what can you not do? He said, rise up and walk. He said, rise up, take thy bed and walk. No. Come on. 
tell me something. Bend your leg like this. Do like this. He said, rise up, walk. Sir, I've been here over 30 years trying to rise up and walk. I can't do that. Say, yes, I know what you can do. Now, rise up and walk. Now, go get rich. Mm -hmm. Now, see, see, see. You are waiting for some principles, eh? <laughs> go get rich. Go become that millionaire. Don't wait for something. Go become the multi-millionaire. Say, so I don't understand. What do you mean? Go. How? Uh, uh, go and do it. How did you get the one dollar? Go the two dollars now. Now you have an instruction to be prosperous. A commandment to be rich. A commandment to be healed. Jesus would get to a sick folk and say, be healed. Ah! All these years, I was not healed. He said, be healed now. Who do you mean be healed? That's the instruction. When? Now. Am I going to get healed? Yeah. When? Now. See, when I touch some people and say, be healed, they're looking at me like, just do something. Move this, move this. No. Be healed. Just agree. Major in the bigger things. Major in the bigger things. And do it with speed. Let me tell you something. If you hear that I'm now going to become a professional footballer, it is easy for you to believe a little bit, but you'll be doubting like, what? Why? Because I passed the age of professional football. <laughs> the problem with Africa is this. We have hit and run visionaries. People that have one thing that they manage to do and they hit and forget everything and they start failing. Your problem is you never think beyond your money you're making now. This is the reason why people who have never made money when they start making money even if they make $2,000 you will not find them in church. It's a lot for them. Let me show you something. Let's go to the book of Proverbs 19, verse number 10. It is not good for a fool to live in luxury. Ah, look at this. I'm going this way. You hate the truth. You don't like the truth. I was favoring you all along, but you don't like the truth. It is not fitting for a fool to live in luxury. That means luxury and foolishness are not compatible. So what do you need for you to not be a fool? You need light. Because light is injected by information. And where there is the presence of information is the absence of foolishness. It is not fit. It is an anomaly. You see luxury and you see a fool. An anomaly. Yeah, I, me, I don't like all this luxury. It's not for me. It's for foolish people. The Bible says no. Foolish people and luxury are not compatible. So wherever I see luxury and I see a human being, there is a certain level of intelligence that they mastered. What have you mastered, sir? Ma'am, what have you mastered? Listen, this world is so callous. It's so demonic. Let me tell you something. This world has mastered the power to duplicate you. You are no longer extraordinary. You are no longer special. You are common now. In the degree you did at university, you were maybe 300. 2,000. And maybe the job you are looking for, they only need four. But out of the 2,000, there are 29 with first degree. So the world has mastered the art of making you common. The race is not to the swift. Uh -uh. I thought the swift are the ones the race has been created for. No, the world has already changed it. It wants you to be common. Even if you are the fastest, you become common. The battle is not to the strong. Uh -uh. 
I don't the strong are the ones who are supposed to defeat everyone. No, it's already now common. You are just like the other person now. The demons have made it necessary and possible for you all to be the same. There is nothing you can offer the world that they have not seen yet. You are a commoner. I don't know, say, I have a degree. I don't know, say, I, the company just folded. I don't know, say, my life is very bad. I don't know, say, listen, you know. You are just like the other person. I don't care how beautiful you are when you see yourself in the mirror. Even the most ugly person, when they check out the mirror. Hmm. I've never seen anything. I wish you could do a research. Just get your friend who is ugly. Put them in front of a mirror. They will tell you, is if I only had this eyebrow going like this. That's all. You think, oh my God, that's all she sees is ugly on here. This is it. And the men who are marrying them are no longer looking at your beauty, your type of beauty. They're looking for confidence. That ugly friend of yours, very confident. She's the one who is going to get married. You, you wonder what's happening. Look at me. You are now common, brothers and sisters. The only answer is Jesus if you want to change this. You want to change the plain view, the only answer is Jesus. No matter how beautiful you are, how handsome you are, they are no longer looking at you. Say, I am too important to be important. I'm too important to be unproductive. That's what it means. You will carry a certain potency. I don't care who said you are not winning. You are going to win. I don't care who said you are a failure. You are going to succeed in the name of Jesus. Even in this season. Do you realize why I'm bold enough to do what I do? Very simple thing. Why is it that I can just say what God tells me? Very simple. God can trust my lips. Learn to like what God speaks, what he says. The problem with you is you are too argumentative. You think you should, your feelings should be respected by God. Whenever you see a prophet being attacked, don't join. Don't, don't be part of it. Because what you measure as a prophet might not be a prophet. I'm not a prophet. I'm more than a prophet. I'm beyond what prophets you have seen so far. I'm beyond that. <laughs> Listen, I have an assignment to the whole thing called Christendom. I'm a prophet to a dispensation. Wherever there is a Christian, I'm a prophet to them. Whether they know it, accept it, or like it. God has put me as a prophet to the dispensation. This one, this last dispensation. God has made me king over it. Leader over it. You might hate it, you might like it, you might even be angry. These words might anger you. I'm sorry. Right now, everyone who is here, you are now assigned. You are consulars to a dispensation. Raise your hands. Raise your hands. You come. Just this one. The Lord is about to do wonderful things for you. Thank you, Lord. But there is patience you need to do with your husband. You need to have patience. Thank you. Thank things you. about to move for him. Thank you, don't, don't, don't lose hope. Thank 
Thank you, prophet. I, I, I don't know if you are getting this. Yes. I said, don't what? Lose hope. Don't lose hope. Thank you. Things are about to move for you. Thank you, prophet. But I saw in the realm of the spirit. Ah. <laughs> Professor. There was like a move taking place. And the Lord ministered to me, something will begin to take place in your life. I receive, prophet. Financially, things are about to take another turn. I receive, prophet. I receive. Thank you. Thank you, prophet. Thank you, prophet. The Lord said, what has happened all these years will be dwarfed by what is about to come to you. I receive, prophet. I receive. Thank you, Lord. Because I saw something. It is true. Uh -huh. That's true, prophet. That's very true. Because I saw something was written there in the realm of the spirit. It was written security. Yes. Security that's, company. That's our main business. Huh? That's our main business. That's your main business. Marita Lacasco Bayer. But I don't know why. It was as though this lady here, I don't know your name per se, by the spirit, I don't know your name. I know one thing by the spirit. She calls you Mudiwa. Yes, yes, it's true. I she saved, calls you Mudiwa. I saved you. Even when she calls you, it's Mudiwa. Yes. But I also saw something like Amanda. A second, she calls This you one, you. Berata. But I saw Angel. This one, Balesco Bara. A confirmation of prophecy, prophet. Because Even in the phone, it is saved. Mudiwa. Mudiwa. Look at this. Okay, now they are, they are in. That's it. This is the whole family now. Mm -hmm. There is the spiritual about him. Something about him. Something. There is something. Look at you see young men like this. There's a calling upon his life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I prayed for it. For it when I gave birth to him. Something. Something about him. Something so special about him. Thank you, Prophet. Thank you, Prophet. I receive. Father, do something for him. Yes. Protect his innocence. Let there be nothing yes, to corrupt him from here, from this walk. No age, no time. Yes. No financial issues. Yes. Financial issues are your biggest issue now. Financial. That's it's like right. your number one prayer request on your prayer request. Number one, correct, finances. Prophet. Even fees for these people. Fees. Yes. This one spent the whole term. Last term, she didn't go to school. And that one, we've not paid fees for her. And the university one, we've got uh, two years without paying her fees. The university girl. Charlie Ru Esa Cronen. I'm Roque de Sica. Which university is this? Women's University. Women's University in this place. Okay, we'll pay the fees. Please. <laughs> said uh, is a spiritual yes, yes, uh, an ambassador of another country who is watching now an ambassador of Angola to another country uh, has chosen to pay school fees yes, sir. for the young man yes, that I was wh where's the young man the young man you know the family that I said uh, yes, major. Yes, major. Yes, sir. 
The Sunny has a calling. The what? The deputy ambassador of Angola to another country, which we will not say. Um, he said they are paying 1,000 euros. 1,000 euros. Oh, this young man. You see what can happen? So 1,000 euros going to him and his family. There is the family. Come. This is God. Instant miracles. Do you see instant miracles taking place? Now, just by watching what the Spirit Embers family can do, now it's already taking place. Fees, fees, 1,000 euros. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so very much, Ambassador. Thank you so very much, daughter. Thank you for being part and parcel of this commission and for hearing the call to help this family. That's what we do here. We are a community, we are a family. Don't worry about it. May the Lord, may the Lord picture everything out for your life and change everything to do with you. Thank you, sir. I okay? Receive. I God receive. is about to bless you. Receive. Great things are about to take place. Thank you, man of God. Thank you. Right. I receive. You believe I'm a prophet? Do you believe I'm a prophet? Yes, you are a great prophet. You Arad, are the major. Say. Come here. <laughs> yes. 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 Listen to me. Yes, sir. What do you do now in life? Uh, I'm working with, uh, with my wife in a, in a clothing supply business. Clothing supply? Yes. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Give me a pen and a paper. Fast. I need a book. Oh, if we write in, no, if we write in yours, it will be very bad. We do it like this. Who do we hold? Who holds it? Okay, you hold it. We're using this right hand. I want to show you something. I see you. You are coming here. But what you want is your business to take another shape. Yes, man of God. This is the main yes. thing. Yes. If my business just, I want to be a multi-millionaire and sponsor this this gospel. That's why that is very that is true, art. prophet. I saw him kneeling, kneeling down praying. It's then something happened on your way here with your car. True. What it's, happened with your car now? It just broke down when we we're about. What's to What's wrong turn. with it? Um, I don't know. But what's failing to do? It's not. It's not starting. So this spark plug. Yes. Yes. Open. Spark plug. Look at the screen. Spark plug. It doesn't matter what it is. Even your vehicle can be seen by God. Thank you, Major. But the man you called to come and fix it did not come. He sent someone else. Yes. He called and he said, I've sent some guys. So I was thinking whether I should leave the service, rush there, but I decided to stay. Have you known this John for some time? Um, for a, he's a mechanic. John Nikis. Nikis. John is the mechanic prophet. I speak by the authority of the Spirit to this young man. Finances will be Kalash Koma. I receive. They will be your portion in the name of Jesus. I receive. They shall be your portion in the name of Jesus. I receive. Ah! Severu Kalehenda. Severote.
Let's kagalaw. Father, in the name of Jesus, may money listen to him. Para, baruka, iskola ran. Jesus. Let's pray for some people here. Praise God. Let me tell you something. We serve a God who speaks. There is not one time that he's silent. Our God speaks. He speaks every day. He's saying something. Every single day, he's saying something. I want to pray for some people. Uh, this lady, I said, I'll pray for you. Just stand there so that we can pray for your family. Stand up, stand up. Stand up. Are you here? Uh, are you sure? All right. Can I do what I was born to do? <laughs> Praise God. Now listen, we boast of our God. There is nothing wrong in you boasting of the Christ in you. He is, after all, the hope of all glory. Imagine carrying such a treasure in earthen vessels. I said, we are blessed. We are blessed. To do what we do, we are blessed. All right, I want us to pray for this family. Just raise your hands. Raise your two hands. I want us to pray for them. The case is very urgent because I see a spirit of death that we need to cancel. Are you here? We need to cancel the spirit of death that is here in this family. Because it's like the devil is trying to kill someone every other year. Yes, prophetess. Someone is dying in this yes, family. Yes, death. Yeah, yes, there is someone dying. You are yes, always at one funeral or the other. Yes, it's following after the family. These are patterns that are following after the family. Yes. And we need to cancel it today. Because the first time I laid my eyes on this woman, I saw a man that was standing behind her. And God told me that this is the husband. But as I was seeing him stand behind you, I saw a tragedy take place. It was a tragedy. And the man is not there anymore. He died suddenly. That's true. 2016. And it was like a car accident that happened. Accident. A car accident. All right. Sudden death. And this is something that is happening in this family over and over and over again. But not here in these grounds. It's not going to be allowed to continue. And listen, your life is not over because God said the legacy of your husband will continue in your children. Right now, look at this woman. She's not even happy right now. This woman is very unhappy. You are confirming it. And who are you to her? Yes, sir. You are her son. I'm seeing who is M. I'm seeing M and another M. And another M. And another M. They are all M, M, M. Three of them. All right. Now, what God is telling me, young man, you listen carefully. Are you the eldest? Yes. You are the, you are the eldest. Listen to me very carefully. When I look at your mother like this, this woman is like she has a weakness in her body. It's true, prophet. She's weak all the time. Last Sunday, Last she Sunday. fell. Do you see what I'm saying? And do I know your mom from anywhere? No, no, never met. She's very weak in her body. And at this workplace, it was last week when she fell. Exactly, Prophetess. It, was it in a classroom? I'm seeing yeah, children. She's a teacher. Exactly, she's a All teacher. All right. Prophetess. These people are tired today. Come, stand there. Let me pray for you. Your life will never be the same again, young man. Thank you. Thank you, Your prophetess. father's legacy, Thank you will continue it. Thank you, prophetess. I catch it. And even your mom, she used to be very happy all the time. Yes, true prophetess. Until your father died. Yes. Ever From since there. the family is not the same. Exactly, prophetess. Ever yes. since. Mm. And you keep dreaming of things, dreaming of things. You. Yes. Dreaming and dreaming. You've I, dreamt of I, prophet I, I angel. You've dreamt. You, prophetess. I once dreamt it's, you. I, I know this. I know this. <laughs> I want us to pray for this young lady. Let's see the dreams. If you have the dreams, let's see the dreams. 
I said your life on it. Uh, 1975. 75. That's the year you were born. Yes, Nin all right. Born in 1975. Yes. <laughs> we are just making sure we have the right address. Thank you, my Lord all right, stand God. there. Help and me. I don't know you from Help anywhere, us, right? I don't know you from anywhere. Do I know you from no, anywhere? No. Did we discuss this before? No. Are you sure? Yeah, very true. Do you believe me when I say God said he's changing your life? Yes, I believe. Do you believe it? God, I believe. Do you believe it? Yes. I These believe. heart palpitations you are having, this weakness in your bones, weakness in your body, this is the last time you will feel that in your body. Thank you. The very God. last time. Thank you. Thank you. Help us, man of uh -huh. You have many, eh? Yes, I saw, I saw this. You've dreamt of prophet angel and here is the dream. Uh-huh, you can see that on the camera? Dreaming of prophet angel, and it's many, 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 many of them. Many of them. I said your life will never be the I same again. It, prophetess, thank you. You shall be the light for your mother. Thank you, prophetess, I catch I said you, you shall I be the light you, for your mother. You. Thank you, prophetess. Where are the other M's? Where are they? Are they in this building? Let them come and stand with their mother. Let's find the other M's. I want us to pray one more time for this family. So that what God has purposed in your lives, it shall come to pass. I said it shall come to pass. Prophet. Because after the men died, properties were taken. A lot of things happened. True prophetess. And this really depressed this woman. A lot of things exactly are gone. Prophet. gone. True prophet. They didn't want you living members. in the house. Yes, prophetess. They chased members. you. Your family members. Yeah, exactly. They chased you away from the house. True but prophetess. I need you to change your name. God said you need to change your name. And this is why it's important. I'll tell you the name. Because I saw a farm. That's how I saw it. I was saying, I Handirimi. 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 All right. I saw a farm. And on the farm, there was a lot of <laughs> things happening on that farm. It's like you try to do something, and then it doesn't work. Try to farm again, and then it doesn't work. And this is the name that you have. You have to change that name. Thank you, prophet. You have to change that name, okay? Thank you, prophet. you should change it. Thank you, and prophet. even another name I saw, like Muko something. Mukondo. Mukondo. Whose name is that? Uh, it's, it's another surname. So you have two surnames. Yeah. So you have to change that one too. Because all names are attached to calamity. Yes, and for prophet. as long as you are associated to that calamity, things will not function for you. Thank you, prophet. And so you have to change it. Stand. I want to pray for you. Raise your hands. I want us to pray for this young lady. Raise your hands very high. Very, very high. Because something is changing. I said something is shifting. Do you see this young woman? I see God blessing you with money you never knew you could have. Didn't the prophet say the money is coming? Thank you, Lord. The money is coming. Amen. Now, if I tell her this, it's very hard for her to believe me because her life has not been any, there's no sign that there is any money coming from anywhere. And it's like you don't even have the confidence to think you can actually do anything. But I am here to tell you that God knows you. God knows your family. And not only is God going to bless her, you are going to cause so much, so much good in your family. And this good I was seeing, it was going to start with her father. Where are your parents right now? They are in Nika Mashingo. They are in Mashingo? Yes. But you see, I'm seeing someone like, who is Chaka? That is my father. Chaka Mote something. Yes, Mote, Chaka Mote. Mutema. Mutema. Yes. That's your father. Professor Mom, Professor! Welcome to me, a <laughs> Do I know Chaka from anywhere? No. Are you sure? Don't. I don't know him from anywhere. Yes. And this is your father? Yes. I saw this man rising up from a sick bed because the enemy is trying to really cause so much bad on your father yes, and that I, is true. did you hear what i said when i said you are representing your family yes as you are standing here there is a whole clan standing behind you Amen. and when you Thank leave you this Lord. place that family is delivered in the name Thank of jesus. jesus and this is one of your prayer requests you want finances you want yes. healing in the family breakthrough yes. in the family all these things, you are going home with them. Thank you, Because Lord. Thank right you, now, Lord. as I'm talking to you, I'm seeing, it's like your father has a problem with the eyes. Yes. Does he have a, is it like a, in one of his eyes? 
Yes, Chuka diabetes. That's what is this doing to him? It's is he blind in one eye? eye. Yes. In one eye. That's yes. right. That's exactly what I'm seeing. Professor, I saw one eye working, and the other eye is not working. This is what God told me to tell you just now, just to prove that we know your father. Yes. We know your family. Yes. But the real prophecy is. Today is the last day your family will suffer what it has been Thank suffering. you, Lord. That's Thank the real you, prophecy. Jesus. Because God is taking your family out of every calamity. I said every calamity. You are listening Thank as well. You, every calamity. If you are under the influence of my voice and you are not catching the same, I don't know what it is you are doing here today. Receive it. I said I don't know I what you are doing this. here today. Stretch your hands to order. Let's stretch our hands. Stretch your hands. Stretch your hands. We want to pray for this family. Once we do that, an entire clan is going to be delivered. It will be delivered. Just begin to pray for her. Pray for her. Pray for her father. Pray for everyone in her family. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray What do you want God to do for you? I want money, but Mama. Huh? Money. Where is your wife? Wait. Your wife is where? She's there. So you want money? Yes. With Finances to change. Yes. How many children do you have? We don't have. No children. Yes. I'm seeing prayers lifted up for children. Yes. yes. You have been praying for children. Prophesy, children. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. We are going to pray because there is an irregularity in this womb. And they don't call me what they call me for no reason. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, this, thing, this thing is over. It's one of your prayer requests. You wrote it on your prayer request. Yes, Let me see I it. I wrote it on quads, mama. <laughs> hey, she wrote it once quads. Yes. Not one, but the quads. The Baroness Bulldoza, <laughs> Prophet Simon. I was speaking. God has placed, I don't know what you do now, but God has placed greatness in you. Oh, yes. And you always knew that there was greatness in you. Oh, yes. From a young age. Yes. True. You always say, I will be someone. I will yes. be someone. Yes, I'll be someone. That's true. And your wife is tired of hearing that same story. Yes, yes. Because yes, this true. is a song you sing every time. Yes, that's true, Mama. I'll yes. be very surprised if you are working for someone because you have grace for business. Yes. Grace yes, for business. Yes. Oh, yes. I Grace for business. Oh, yes. And in fact, I saw you starting even like a logistics, even one car, oh, yes. then another I'm car. Cars. I'm selling cars. I'm you are selling cars yes. right now. Yes. Hey. Yes. Professor! Wife of Celia Church today. You are going to have one of the biggest logistics company in this country. Of transportation. Oh, yes. The Bible says, do not despise the day of small beginnings. Oh, yes. So oh, yes. don't look down on your small beginnings. Oh, yes. You are going to go higher and oh, higher and higher. Mind. Listen to me. Yes. We are in a house where our man of God specializes in making kings. Oh, yes. I said he makes kings. He's a king maker. That's what he is. And it's up to you to take whatever you want from this atmosphere. Let me pray for this couple. My grace is your grace. Hold my hand. What I have, I give to you. Yes. And you want quads, I have four. Oh, <laughs> stretch your hands toward them. Stretch your hands, stretch your hands toward this couple. Something good is happening here. I said, something good is happening here. This man, stand up. We shall know about him here in Spirit Embassy. Not only in Spirit Embassy, the good news world will know your name. 
Stick to the prescription. Oh, yes. Be here every Sunday. Oh, yes. At the feet of our man of God. Oh, yes. Listen to everything. Yes. Take everything to the bank. Oh, yes. I said, look at him very well. We shall know him here. Oh, yes. Stretch your hands toward him. Let me pray for you. Stretch your hands toward them. Just begin to pray for them. Young men, don't worry about your life. It's going to be brilliant. Amen. But be careful. As I stood up there, the Lord said you should be careful. Amen. Mm -hmm. You should be very careful. Amen. I don't know why I saw Glenn for you here. I'm coming there. Now here, be very careful. Amen. Huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm seeing you. And as it were, are you listening? So that you get the same miracle. I'm seeing you sitting. Amen. And it's like the Lord has sent something. Amen. An angel. And a door suddenly was opened in the realm of the spirit. Somebody's entering now. I receive it. And a door was opened in the realm of the spirit. Yes, sir. And the Lord said, walk through. Yes, sir. As you were walking, hell opened. I saw demonic entities cutting even the little that you were making. Indeed, it's true, sir. Because right now, yes, sir. a few days ago, you were on the phone. You were trying to get even network. Yes, sir. Because the network was very difficult for you. Very true. For the you were thinking, I think it's elections. I think network. Indeed, very true. 150% correct. This was a man who was trying to steal. Uh, he has gone behind your back now. Indeed, it's true, it's gone, sir. It's, this is Moyo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? Very true. Moyo. Very true. Yes, it's Moyo. He is trying to go behind my, behind my your back. Behind your back. This yes. is like, you know, like manure, uh, fertilizer. Yes, fertilizer. fertilizer too. Yes. You are supplying another country. Yes, Zambia, sir. Yes, sir. Major prophet. And then I saw on that phone. They were calling on that phone, looking for you. You were looking for them. You were looking, you were looking for them. You were looking for them. And now, they are acting like dodgy. Dodgy now. Very true. Very true, sir. This, <laughs> this deal now, you, yes, were, you were trying now. Indeed. You will not be in Budiro for long. Indeed, I receive it! Huh? I, I stand Budiriro, sir. Budiriro? Yes, sir. Budiriro what? Budiriro 2. The prophet is showing listen, the signs listen of this. two fingers. Now, this two. man here you see here. Hmm. Please, write your number. Write your, write your name and number. Say blessing and then you write the name, the, the, the number. See, he's not even getting it. Blessing Mtandiri. Blessing Mtandiri is my name. Blessing is the name prophet. Write your number. See, me, I'm already taking his number. This man is going to be rich. You, you, you are staying there. You're looking like this. And brother, brother, avoid arguments Indeed. with the wife. Indeed, I will do so, sir. Avoid. I will do so, sir. Thank you, sir. I avoid. Appreciate. Thank you, sir. Because there were people, when you made a decision, there were people who said, why would you do this? Indeed, very true. Why are you taking this and this, and this burden? Very true. Mm, you know the burden I'm talking about? Yes, sir. I know it. I when know this it. one is bringing something, you are bringing something. Yes, sir. Indeed. Very true. 150% correct, sir. Yes, sir. I can confirm. Don't worry about it. This thing is what it is. It is gone. All right? It's already what it is. Your money is connected to that same woman. Wow, I receive it. So, That's very true. I'm telling you now. Indeed, sir. Indeed, sir. Thank you, sir. This is, is it two and three? Yeah, it's two and three. Two and three? Yes, sir. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, so That's what? The, he knows what it is. Yes, sir. That's all the, what that matters. Our kids. We ah. have the five kids. Listen, you listen to me. Don't listen to these people. 
One brought two, one brought three. Yes, sir. In the marriage. Indeed. As I'm talking to you now, the Lord has written on your forehead, multi-millionaire. I receive it! I receive! I receive! Hi! Multi-millionaire. I receive it, sir. I receive it, prophet. Multi-millionaire. I receive. There is a deal coming. But yes. your main issue, you think it was supplying agricultural products. No. It is the real agriculture. Amen. Amen. I'm seeing Lent. Lent. Indeed, sir. You have a ministry. Where is Shamba from here? Huh? 60 kilometers from Vitoria. 16 or 60? 68. 68 kilometers. Yes. What am I going to do for you? I want invitation from you, Papa. Impartation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. My wife is at home. In Shamba. In Shamba. Yes. Okay. Your wife is in Shamba, prophet. Right as you say. Now, this is the problem. Remember this person before your wife. Yes, sir. This one. Yes, sir. There is an accusation coming. Stand here. want to clear you before this thing. Yes. Prophet, this man is confirming, Prophet, that there were ladies who used to be in his ministry, Prophet, and when they left the ministry, they started to accuse him. Right is what you were prophesying, Prophet. And they even declared that this ministry will not go nowhere. That's true. That's true, That's true sir. Come. You receive what it needs. Thank you, Prophet. Thank you so much. Your marriage is fixed. Thank you, sir. But that was not even an issue. The issue was people accusing you. Thank you, thank you, Dad. And that was going to break whatever God has set in motion for you. Thank you, thank you, Dad. Thank I you speak so now. Thank you so much. You are free. I receive, sir. I receive. Thank you, Prophet. Thank you, Prophet. <laughs> Listen, you. Your grandmother was a very perfect woman. Amen. That's very true. Very, very perfect That's woman. That's very true. That's very true, Papa. Wanted you to be a woman of God. Yes, very true, Papa. I stood there, and the Lord was giving me. A map. Amen. 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 Where do you stay? Hatfield. Hatfield. Yes. Hatfield means around Hatfield. Yes. This close. This close. <laughs> she said, this close. Since the death of your grandma, yes, sir, proper it has not been well for you. It has not been well. It has not been well yes, for you. Yes, that's true. That's true, prophet. This is four or five years. Yes, my grandmother passed on. That's Marata. very true. So about five years, prophet. The grandma passed away five years ago. I speak now. You will see a new path. And your calling will be revealed. Jesus. Listen. Who is this one to you? Your husband. There is a power in you to take care of your family. Things have not been okay financially. Yeah, yeah. But the Lord is about to do something for you. But I don't see you finding a job in the sense of a job. Yeah. Because the Lord said there is a business that you will start. Yes. It will start very small like this where somebody just start selling here, selling there, selling here, doing deals, doing this, doing this. 
Aha, uh -huh. okay, we are, we are together. But not only here, even near, because I'm coming from here, at this location here where I am now, I go like this, like that. After Mbuzi. That's where we stay. That's where we Southly. stay. Southly. Southly Park. Southly Park. Yeah. That's where they stay. Southly Park. Do you, do you have any child at the moment? Yes. Yeah. Yes, good. Good, good, yes. Ah, that's a beautiful name. Jude. Jude Felix. Jude. You see, it's like you. This. Are you, are you, are you members of this church? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Since so you took 11. Jude from me, then you took Felix from Pastor Felix. His, his name is Jude Felix. You are Felix. Okay. This child. <laughs> when did you start living in South Delhi Park? Around the 2011. Around 2011. This one was made in South Delhi Park, this child. End of February. Very true. Very true. Yes. It's now six months. You are right. It's very right. It's very true. It's true. Mama, when did you, what did you come here with? Who did you come here with? My daughter and my son. And your son? Yes. You are trying to make ends meet now. Money. Yes. Huh? Yes. And yet you can actually do it. But somebody is holding your money now. Yes, that's hmm? true. That's true. Have you gone to court yet? No. Not. No. Not yet. Sir. Okay. Relax for now. Okay. Huh? Thank you, Prophet. Relax. Thank you, Prophet. Because... This is hard. Hmm? Yes. Hard. This is it. It's been silent now. It's like he can just go silent. Yes. When yes. you ask him for the thing you want, he will not reply. Yes. He just keep quiet. This is a man who left you. Yes. Now you just want him to sign something yes. so that you are allowed to do what you do. You do half half. Yes. This is a property. Yes, it's property. Power of attorney is what you're looking for. Yes, yes, it's true. I speak by the authority of the spirit. Oh, yes. Break it. Oh, yes. <laughs> this time when you talk, oh, yes. you're talking using my voice. Oh, yes. Listen. Fire, you are walking on fire. Can you 
decree and declare. You know the way I saw it? Testimonies. After testimonies. After testimonies. After testimonies. After testimonies. Testimonies are happening yes. in the building. Just What's two weeks happening? ago, uh -huh. you prophesied to this couple prophet about marriage prophet. You even mentioned the father called James who was resisting the marriage prophet. But you, after the prophecy, you declared that this marriage shall be a success. And two weeks ago, prophet, they managed to pay Lobola and even wait, prophet. This is the picture on the screen. This is the picture on the screen. Give Jesus a shout of we praise. We have a somebody. prophet to this dispensation. Tangible miracles. Tangible results. Prophet, my pastor here, since Saturday morning, prophet, could not walk, prophet. There was a sharp pain coming from all the legs, prophet, from the hip going down, prophet. But just now, prophet, you laid your hands on him, and there was a release on the legs, prophet. And right now, he can walk, prophet, without the aid of this sick prophet. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that on the screen. He's jumping, prophet. He's jumping, prophet. 
is happening. Give Jesus a big hand, somebody. Yes. Miracles are happening, prophet. This man is confirming, prophet, that when he came here, prophet, it was difficult for him even to walk, prophet, because he had severe headache, severe stomach pain, and weakness in the joints, prophet. But after you collect the prayer request, prophet, he's saying he felt strength flowing in the body, prophet. And right now, he can run, he can move. Look at this, prophet, for the first time. For the first time since Friday, prophet. Since Friday, prophet. For the first time, the guy is running, he's running, he's running. He in Look Jesus' at that. mighty name. Testimonies. Testimonies, prophet. Uh -uh. And things are happening, prophet. You prophesied to this couple, prophet. Just some minutes ago, prophet. And an ambassador offered to pay fees for the young boy prophet. But not only that prophet, they've got a young girl who is in grade, grade one and, and is called Angel. And I've got my sister here who just offered to pay for the school fees of Angel from grade one to grade seven prophet. These are instant miracles happening. Give Jesus a big hand, somebody. Jesus. What happened? Another one is pay is offered. Yes, prophet, to pay for the young girl who is in grade one. So my sister here is going to pay from grade one up to grade seven, prophet. Are these prayer requests not being answered now? They are being answered, prophet, like milk. Prophet, yeah. Last week, you located this young lady, prophet, and you mentioned that your husband is struggling with beer, and you didn't even attend church because he was not sober, prophet. You prophesied even the name of this young man. You said your husband is called Mike. Not only that, prophet, you even mentioned that he is going to help a brother called Emma. But today Mike is here, prophet, and he's saying, I need prophet to pray for me so that I quit beer. And he's standing here with a tangible proof, prophet, because even last week you prayed for this young man and we brought beer here. And when he drank the beer, prophet, he said, it's no longer testing. And he's confirming that I never tested it again. You just prayed for water for this young man, prophet, Please. for him to quit beer. He was struggling, prophet. You even prophesied about him last Sunday, prophet. And after you gave him water, he drank the water, and he went back to test the beer, prophet. And he is confirming that the smell of beer just changed, the prophet, after your prayer. And he's saying, I'm quitting. The smell just changed, the prophet. There is power. So a shout of praise, somebody. Testimonies, prophet. My sister here, when she came to this place, prophet, she had weakness in her body, prophet. To an extent that when you took the prayer request, she was actually on the chair because she couldn't stand, prophet. But after you collected the prayer request, strength ran through the body prophet and right now she she can walk look at this prophet she can even run prophet look at this look at this give jesus a big hand somebody yeah uh -huh. 
Prophet. Yes. Another miracle here. My sister attended Sunday after the global night of deliverance. And she's saying, I just believed that if I enter into the presence of the man of God, something will happen. And during these elections, prophet, she managed to make it prophet as the counselor for Chegu to RDC prophet. Huh? So she's the counselor. She's now a counselor prophet. Wow. She came after the global night of deliverance and she believed that I just need to step into the presence of the man of God and something will happen to me. And she made it to be the counselor for Chegu to RDC prophet. She's a counselor now. Get into that same politics. Get there. We, we want to vote for you. <laughs> we are not just taking over. When we take over spiritually, we take over physically. Because the physical is controlled by the spiritual. Take over. Take over. Take over. In the name of Jesus. Those that are here, in this moment where we are celebrating, this thing that we call prayer, understanding what God is doing in our lives, I speak that there is deliverance of their own families, extended families. You are delivered. You are increased. Mercy to you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. A good news world with Hubert Angel, provoking a reaction and always worth hearing.